Jamie. Jamie. Are you all right? Okay. You sure? The pain's not that bad, really. Back. Yeah. I had a dream just before I woke up. Remember that lake we used to go to? Yeah. You, me, and Mom. I remember. I bought our cottage on it. Cottage on it one summer. We still own it. Well, I dreamt we were there. Just the three of us. It was a beautiful day. And I was lying on the beach. And I could hear the birds. And I was just lying there, and I looked down. <laughs> I looked down, and I noticed I was in a business suit <laughs> and a vest and a tie. <laughs> I looked like I was ready for a board meeting. <laughs> I had a dream, too, but I'm afraid it was no more than wishful thinking. I dreamed we got away from here somehow. And when we got back home, Rachel was waiting in the doorway for us. This whole mess was over. It's going to be soon, you know. I know I said it before, but I really mean it now. If they let you go back to Bay City, you've got to promise me. You won't come back here. You can't. Rise and shine, Corey. You got a phone call to make. Corey, we got this phone call to make. I think he should be given something to eat. He'll eat when we get around to it. No phone call until I'm sure he's going to be given something to eat and drink. You're not in Bay City now, Corey. See, I give the orders around here. If you don't do what I say, I shoot the two of you. And go back to Ilsa with empty pockets? You know, that might be worth the chance at that. Lenny. Look, don't be a fool, huh? Elsa has to have that bread. I'll take care of Alexander. Lenny, let him go ahead. A couple more minutes isn't going to make any difference. Make it quick. Don't worry. It's going to be all right. I'm not going to let anything happen to you. Mac, remember what I said. Don't, don't do it. Shh. I mean it, Mac. Jamie. It's only money. Corey, the party's over. You got a phone call to make.
how'd you get here? I mean, how'd you get out of the car? Keep it down. Keep it down. Look, I'll explain all that later. First, let's just worry about getting you out of here, okay? Listen, you gonna be able to move my brain? Yeah. doctor as soon as I get you out of here, all right? Okay, just hang on a while longer. <laughs> I won't call the police, but you have got to promise me you won't hurt him again. I'm telling you, if anything happens to that boy, if it takes me the rest of my life, I'll make sure you pay for it. Look, Corey, I already told you. Alexander's gonna be safe as long as you play by the rules. And you're in no position to be making threats anyway. You just make sure that he's well taken care of. Okay, let's go. Come on. Come on. Just to the window. Here we go. Oh. Sit down. Sit down. I can't get breathe. I can't. Just take it in. I can't breathe. Oh, man. It looks like we're home free. Good. Look, we get what we want, and we give you what you want. It's as simple as that. Up and out, buddy. Let's do it. Oh, shit. You watch, Corey. If he moves, kill him. Lenny, calm down. That kid is in no shape to do anything. Yeah, you want to take a chance on that? You do what I tell you. I'm going in. Jamie, we're gonna have to move fast now. now. I'm going out the window first. Right. Once I get out there, I'm gonna lean back in and pull you out. Shh, with me, okay, okay. okay. Let's do it. Sandy, we can't leave Mac here. We can't do that to him, man. Jamie, I told you, I'm coming back from that. Now, first things first. You ready? Right. Let's do it. Come on. Come on, man. Hey. Ah. Hold it, Golden Boy. One move, you're a dead man. 